Hello and welcome back to a new video about processes. This time we're talking about how we can display the function of flow processes. Yeah? How we can show what a flow process, a continuous process looks like. Yeah? And explain it to someone how, or document it. Yeah? Well, there are some possibilities. Yeah? There are some possibilities, of course there are possibilities. Uh, one possibility is the so-called uh, process flow diagram. Okay, process flow diagram. There are a lot of symbols. Yeah? There are a lot of symbols which can be used. They are standardized. Yeah? I now show some of them because it would simply be too much for this video to just this is this simple, this is this simple. There are lists. Yeah. So this is a tank. Okay. An ugly tank. Yeah. This should not happen, of course. Ah, it's just an example. So and here a pipe is coming out. Yeah. Then the usual symbol for a pump is this. This is a common pump. There are different symbols for screw type pump, for piston pumps and so on. Yeah, you can go into details here. Yeah. There is a pump. Yeah. Then there is a cooler looking like this. There are also different symbols for cooler. Yeah. There are symbols like this, common cooler, then there are symbols with fixed tubes and so on. Puh. There's a cooler. Then here is and here's a sprayer. Maybe not a very sophisticated flow process. <laughs> However, you know, that's it. Process flow diagram shows the basic elements. Yeah, shows the basic elements. There is a pump, there is a cooler, there is a container, and whatever is in there. It's a level, yeah, whatever is in there. I will pump out, I will cool it, and I will spray it back. Okay. So pipes are usually just lines, yeah, a sprayer and so on, cooler like that. That's it. Process flow diagram shows the basics. Yeah? Usually the pipes should be arranged like you plan to arrange or how they are arranged in real life. Yeah? But that's not really necessary. Yeah? You should, if you have a process flow diagram and stand in front of the real application, you should find the pipes. Yeah? This should be the goal, yeah? that it's somehow similar. If this is long or short, doesn't really matter. But if it's the left, the right, or the middle pipe, should be correct. Okay. Then there is the possibility of adding measurement points or points of interest. I can do it like this. There is a Something like this. Yeah. What does this mean? Yeah. There are, I have to because I only don't know it by the top of my head. Yeah. There is a process category. Okay, process category. For instance, this could be a tick. Yeah. Tick is not something I do. Yeah. Tick in this, those stuff they usually have a first letter, which is showing the category. Okay, so there is, for instance, F. That's the flow. Yeah. Then there is L. That would be the level. Okay, then. I have to see here. Yeah. T, of course, like I used it, it's the temperature. 
There are a lot of more. Yeah? There is voltage, there is density, there is moisture, uh, there is uh, vibration, weight. Yeah? There are quite a lot of categories. This is the PCE category. PC category. And then there are following letters. Yeah. Following letters. Ah, uh, there's for instance A. Allah. Yeah. So FA would be flow Allah. Yeah. Then there is a T, this is a transmitter. What I've used here, E, is an indication. And C is a control. So here, I measure the temperature, I indicate it here, and I control it here. So, this might control this pump here. Okay? There are also a lot of, of follow-up letters. They are also standardized. PCE category. PCE category and following letters. Huh? Gives this here, maybe. I have a flow indicator. Huh? I can see if this is running or not. Huh? Process flow diagram. This is how this looks like. Huh? Sometimes I want to have it a little bit more detailed. Then I will switch to the uh, piping and instrumentation uh, piping instrumentation diagram. Piping and instrumentation. diagram. Okay. Using the same symbols, using absolutely the same symbols, but now I have it a little bit more detailed. Yeah? Because I simply add it here, yeah? because then suddenly I have here a flange somewhere, here is also a flange, and here is a flange, and here is a flange. Yeah? I can give those pipes names, and I can give those pipes diameters and so on, so this is PN20 diameter 100 or whatever, yeah, I can give names and so on, I specify this. This pump suddenly has a type, yeah? this cooler has a flow, maximum flow and so on, I can add simply more, more and more information to this. Yeah? So now I know if this is a thick pipe, a thin pipe, uh, if this is, uh, if there shall be a flange. So everything, every element which is built into my system has to show up in the piping instrument, instrumentation diagram. So it's much more detailed than the process flow diagram. The process flow diagram only shows the process how it's working. The piping instrumentation diagram shows every detail, not in scale, yeah? but you know, here's a flange, here's a flange, here's a flange, and so on. The planning is more detailed than this piping instrumentation. Yeah. And then there is there is even if I then really specify yeah, all those controls yeah, and, and and types and so on, yeah, then this is a measurement, measurement location plan. Uh, measurement and control location plan. Messen, steuern, regeln. Measure, control plan. Uh, then I really detail the types and I fix everything. Uh, this is the most 
detailed way of process flow diagrams. However, yeah, those symbols, they are simply used in all of this. Yeah? It's just a level of, of details, yeah? which is increasing. Yeah? Which type of sensor is used there? Yeah? Measure control plan. Which type of control is used to measure control plan? That is a control already in process flow diagram. Yeah? The, I think, I think you got it. Yeah? So this is how a continuous process, a flow process, can be shown, can be displayed. Yeah? See, at different levels. Then, if if this is really then a piping plan, then it's really detailed because then it's really the application and you know how long this pipe is and so on. This would be then, but in a piping plan, usually those stuff is no longer in. Yeah? So there is no longer written, here is a measurement, here's a measurement and so on. This is more overview. Piping plan is already execution, I would say. Yeah? I will link uh, documents according these letters and so on, uh, for your reference down in the video. Yeah, next time we're going to talk about uh, processes which will process item by item. Yeah? How we can display those. Yeah? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.